it is fairly mind-blowing to think about just how quickly we've come back, but a confluence of trillions of dollars of Fed stimulus and, of course, government stimulus and relief payments is behind it. Can it continue? Dom, the answer is unequivocally yes, it can continue. And uh, we've been very bullish on this tape, as you know, looking for the lows back in March 23rd. And uh, now that we're sitting here at all-time new highs, Dom, I got to tell you, our 3,600 price objective, which we're starting to see more firms come up to, uh, certainly validating our work that we've been doing from the chart side of the world. The fundamental side is now coming over and seeing what we're doing. Uh, I got to tell you, I think that's probably going to be a low. I think there's probably more upside than that 3,600. Because as I look around, I look at what we're seeing happening in the charts with, say, lumber, oil, the industrials, uh, the industrial uh, metals out there. These charts are all starting to break out. The economy is starting to show those green shoots that many people have talked about in the past. And, Dom, I got to tell you, uh, anecdotally, my wife and I had the great opportunity to take our son to Elon University uh, over the last week. And uh, they got a great program in place for COVID. I don't think they're going to shut down at all. But, Dom, the number of trucks out on the road, unbelievable, the number of trucks, the number of stores that are very, very full at this point in time. It's uh, the consumer is alive and well. And this economy is alive and well. And I think you're going to see that uh, we're going to start to see this play out even more in coming weeks and months going forward from here. So so there, there are questions, Craig. I, I, I mean, not to not to kind of veer too far off the path of the straight markets right now. But there, there are folks out there who say that this is going to be very difficult to sustain, despite all of the anecdotal evidence you're citing about the rebound in the consumer, that unless the government gets its act together, and puts out more stimulus payments or more relief for unemployed, then you're not going to get that same kind of spending continue into the holiday season. How exactly then are the markets reacting to that, if, if at all? Dom, I think they are going to come up with an additional stimulus package along the way. There's no doubt that the economy has come off of life support. We're moving in the right direction. There is going to be a need for some additional stimulus. But at this point in time, I think you're starting to see the evidence that things are starting to improve. I get it. There's a lot of challenge. There's a lot of pain out there. But the markets are a very good leading economic indicator looking forward, say, six to nine months down the road. And I think what you're seeing getting priced in today is the fact that this economy is picking up. And yes, Don, we will get a little bit more stimulus. But stocks breaking out, moving the new highs. And by the way, there's still $4.1 trillion of cash sitting on the sidelines. And I got to tell you, with this market breaking out the new highs, there's a lot of remorse out there with investors that have been sitting on the sidelines, not participating in this market for, say, a longer-term investment horizon. Craig, what will the leadership be? We, we've, made a lot of, we've made a lot of hay with this idea over the past few months, several months now at this point, that technology and communication services stocks, the mega cap names, the ones that are worth a trillion dollars or more have been the leadership. Are they going to be the places where you best want to put money for the next leg higher if hypothetically there is one? Dom, you're spot on correct with that. In fact, if you look at those big large cap FANG names with a double A in there, they've added over 5% to the overall returns for this market. So you'd be looking at still negative returns and certainly well below the new highs that we're seeing now without those names returning. But you raise a very interesting question because as you look at what's happening with lumber prices, metals prices, industrial metals, housing starts, um, a Fed forward uh, you know, GDP number that could be close to 20% in Q3, you got to look at this and say, there's probably going to be a bit of a shift or a rotation towards some uh, higher interest rates in this country, just marginally higher, not anything that's going to be a showstopper for this market. But we know that the Fed is going to remain very accommodative. I believe you're going to hear that in the notes coming up today. And you're going to see this curve steepen. And as you do, the financials are going to pick up in terms of performance. And I think you're also going to see these deep cyclicals pick up. And you're seeing that evidence, Dom, in the charts right now inside of basic materials, the industrials picking up. And a lot of investors, they haven't made that pivot in rotation. And I think that is going to be one of the key factors for portfolio managers uh, continued outperformance in the second half of the year is going to be a little bit of that pivot to more of those sort of deep cyclical names that are starting to really show those green shoots.